Welcome to the Federal. Today we have Mr. Atar Hussain, Director of Center for Objective Research and Development. Sir, my first question to you is, today is 6th of December. We complete 31 years of demolition of Babri Masjid. What are your thoughts when you look back? In simple terms, uh, my thoughts are that uh, everything uh, evolves. There's a con Evolution is a continuing process. And uh, I consider the entire happening, which you mentioned about of 31 years back of Babri Masjid demolition, a uh, sort of a, a political uh, activity which affected okay. uh, the entire <clears throat> society, at, uh, I would say to a large extent uh, of India. And its impact in those years had uh, serious uh, mm -hmm. uh, implications, uh, I would say, in terms of uh, uh, turnaround of how our society mm -hmm. evolved and how our, how our polity evolved. And mm -hmm. today, uh, as an individual, as an Indian, or you may consider to my uh, religious denomination that is Muslim, I consider that uh, that process is still on. But that, that happening of, uh, of demolition of that Babri Masjid is now in the past. And entire uh, new generation of Muslims, they are looking forward how to achieve the immediate uh, uh, goals and tasks to make their life easy, which includes a better education facility, such a health facility, and uh, more uh, an environment of where their other concerns like the security concerns are addressed to. That is it. Sir, uh, the court had granted a five-acre land to the members of the minority community in Ayutthaya. Uh, how do you plan to develop the land? Is there any project that has been finalized by the community members? There is a, a body which has a, a massage a project there. And uh, their plans are already there in public discourse. And uh, hopefully that project will be uh, come into shape in uh, coming days. And it depends upon the availability of the fund. And that project is still on. And obviously it requires uh, fund mobilization and all, but that process is on. Sir, uh, there is a court case going on on the disputed sites of Mathura and Kashi. Uh, do you think there is a need for a reconciliation process between two communities as far as uh, uh, religious structures are concerned? First of all, I, I am not a legal luminary to that sense. But obviously, I am a, uh, basically, I am a trained uh, social scientist. So my uh, thoughts and my interest are basically how these things affect and impact the society. And uh, as far as to my basic knowledge of uh, law, so anything which is subjudiced, it is uh, least to be commented upon. And uh, secondly, as you said, that uh, I was, uh, in fact, very keen that this entire process of uh, Ram Janamuni Ayodhya case should come to reconciliation. And in fact, in a very small scale, I was part of it also. I made certain efforts. I was part of that contact initially with the around, and especially that uh, uh, the Supreme Court uh, organized that committee, which was for mediation. Uh, I made my uh, point of view in front of that committee also. But uh, as far as the present cases which you have mentioned, there is a by and large acceptance in the Indian society of the ju judicial process, even in the Ram Mandir Ayodhya, Babri Masjid case, if you remember, entire Muslim community in uh, one word had said that they will accept whatever will be the outcome of the Supreme Court judgment. That is the ultimate uh, judicial body. And since uh, that outcome came and everything was remained uh, calm, and I would say that uh, that uh, judgment was accepted. Similarly, <clears throat> when we talk in terms of the present issue, uh, hopefully uh, those parties, those who are engaged in those issues, they go for reconciliation. And if it doesn't happen that way, 
and obviously whatever be the outcome of the due judicial process will happen and lastly i would say that there's a you know, places of worship had and i think uh, quite many a times in one of those uh, litigation it has been uh, made reference to that and which i have heard as far as the court proceedings which have come into the print media and uh, other sources of media and uh, let's see what happens and what will be the outcome of those court proceedings and how uh, the places of worship act guarantee uh, that uh, the new uh, issues will not come up as far as uh, religious places are concerned happen but my uh, i would say complete support for any reconciliation which happens in any issue whatever it may be like in terms of places of worship or any other issue where there is sort of a uh, dispute among the community in fact uh, at individual level and at our uh, organizational level that is which i represent center for project research and development we have uh, uh, made several announcements we have made lot many seminars on this issue that we should have a reconciliation commission kind of a thing in india uh, something which happened in south africa also and in other countries and we should have a proper reconciliation commission and all those issues which are hanging around among communities in terms of caste or religion issues they should be addressed to that commission so let me ask a direct question to you do you think the present government will amend the places of worship act uh, if it is part of a procedure can happen within the legality within the constitutional law it is a possibility it is not about this government or any other government it can happen well, if it's a direct question it's a direct response if it is part of a procedure if it is a, uh, like uh, can happen within the constitutional law like we have a uh, executive we have a, a parliament and we have a judiciary and if it comes through that procedure and if it is a possibility it can happen not now maybe later or maybe much later it can happen well, i wouldn't say that it is not a possible but obviously because uh, uh, enactment and uh, it has been uh, preferred also in the uh, babri masjid ayodhya judgment also and i wouldn't say there is a, a guarantee but uh, the sort of a uh, uh, reference was made that uh, it is something like a basic structure of the constitution so hopefully uh, whatever be uh, the procedural part the government or the ex- uh, uh, legislature or the judiciary can do it uh, they will do it accordingly but right now there is i believe a petition uh, pen in the supreme court regarding uh, uh, the <clears throat> actual applicability of the uh, place of worship act it is still pending with the honorable supreme court so my last question to you is on the 22nd of january prime minister narendra modi will uh, inaugurate the shri ram temple in ayodhya what will be the thoughts of the members of the minority community on that day uh, i would be very clear like if it is only referred to the muslims i think muslims of this country which constitute almost uh, 200 million of the population it's a very large population and their thoughts are more about how they earn the next bread their thoughts are more how the children get better education their thoughts are more how uh, they get better uh, uh, housing or maybe other uh, uh, facilities which are required to have a decent and, and their thoughts are how the next generation of their will have a future in this country both socially and economic as far as uh, the inauguration of the uh, ram mandir it has come through a complete procedure of law and through honorable supreme court judgment and uh, it will uh, be happening in a due process it is happening through a due process but by and large again i say that uh, this country has evolved and as you had earlier mentioned that's 31 years since we are referring to this incident i believe uh, there is complete new generation all of uh, children who was born in the at age uh, will be now 31 
and those uh, who will be around at the age of 8 9 years an age of adolescence uh, uh, they will be uh, like touching 40 so almost two generations have seen uh, that process so their uh, uh, subsequent uh, uh, i would say uh, uh, issues of concerns are much more now what is happening in ayodhya if it is specifically for the muslim if this is your question thank you for hearing your thoughts mr hussain subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more news and updates